Hey, first hour. Thinking back to our lab from the other day, we're not gonna take the time to redo it, but if we could do it, I probably would have given directions that said something like this. Get three really small pieces of zinc and put them into your beaker and see how things go. Use these numbers. I started off with a beaker, and when it was clean, it weighed 49.95 grams. I added three of these pieces, I brought it back and put it on the scale. The combined total was now 53.21 grams. Then I added my acid and let it sit overnight. The next day when I boiled it off, this is what it should have looked like. A white crystalline structure. I got it looking pretty much like this. I let it cool and I went and reweighed it. The first time I weighed it, it weighed 56.72 grams. But then I followed directions and I went back and reheated it again. I think you guys follow directions. I just think that I told you too much and we had too much unreacted zinc. So I reheated that and checked its weight. Turns out that it was different. It was 56.65 grams. According to the directions, then it said to reheat it again to see if it would change. The third time, it changed, but only a little. The third time was 56.64 grams. Using that data, you should be able to follow through on the calculations, use your knowledge of moles, and what we're trying to figure out is an empirical formula, the simplest whole number ratio of how many moles of zinc compared to how many moles of chlorine. Now we didn't use a whole mole, but if you follow through, it will show you ratios. Try that.